First day of the season, first qualifying session, and the women are out first on the mat. Two groups, five boulders give them a chance to qualify. Today, we're going to be bringing you all the results for the men and the women, and a few talking points from today's climbing action. Natalia Grossman is the defending overall champion from 2022 and she was back with a vengeance with five tops getting her through. Those wondering where Yanya Gambra is, well, she made the decision to rest a broken toe injury, hoping to return for the European rounds. Japanese athletes will be fighting for selection this year and Miho Nanaka made it through in first place and will be out last in front of her home crowd. Let's hear from her. Miho, we are back in Hachiochi where the qualifying for the first Olympic Games happened. There's quite a lot of history in this arena. How does that make you feel as the first venue and the first event of the season? It doesn't feel like, I don't know, it starts yet. Like, I, I don't know, it's, it's weird, but I'm so excited to compete. Japan has a big pool of talent. There's lots of you guys who are very, very good. Anyone could make it into the team. How stressful is it just trying to get a place in Team Japan? Oh my God, it is so stressful. You have to do well at the Japan Cup. It's so like, I, I just want to enjoy competing in World Cup. Okay, well, always awesome to watch you climb. Good luck for this comp and the rest of the season. Rabatu flashed four out of five boulders. The only one that caused her problems was the techie boulder three, but after eight attempts, she figured out the sequence. Hannah Moyle looked relaxed and confident, only missing the final climb, but still getting a zone, a top 10 quali finish and a good start to her season. This year, we have nine women who are making their World Cup debuts. Annie Sanders, who recently won the USA Nationals, was one of them. She didn't make it through this time, but keep an eye out on her in the future. Annie, this is your first ever World Cup. You absolutely crushed it at the USA Nationals. How was it out there? Tell me about some of your emotions. I was pretty nervous going into it. I tried not to put like too many expectations on myself, but... I didn't really perform as well as I wanted to, but I guess there's also always Korea next week, so hopefully I can perform better there. Absolutely, it's a long season. I know people are keeping their eye on you for the future, so best of luck with the rest of the competitions. Thank you. Let's have a look at our qualifiers. Most of the athletes left the mats saying how hard the climbs had been. Joining her teammate Miho at the top is Anon Matsufuji, who flashed all the boulders in her group. Sofia Yokoyama was delighted with her performance and will climb again, as will Camilla Moroni, who's building on an impressive pre-season comp performance. Right on the edge was last year's sensation Jilulu, who missed the top and zone on boulder four, and Xian So was also on the edge. We had some big names missing out, including a frustrated Stasha Geo and Kara Kondi, who was climbing in her first Boulder World Cup in two years. Time for the men to compete, and the 2022 Boulder champion Yoshiki Ogata easily made his way into the semi-finals with five tops. He's a big personality, so let's hear from him. I'm here with the defending 2022 champion of bouldering, Yoshiki Ogata. You said you were nervous before you went on. I, I don't believe that. Uh, like, because it's first World Cup of the year, and it makes me like nervous every year. Like even last year and like two years ago, I was so nervous before the like first World Cup. This is a massive year for climbing because it's qualifying for the Olympics. It's super important. How has your preparation and training been going for that? I think I'll compete in all of the World Cup and try to compete like as much in the World Cups as I can. Then, like for a first year, like I need to be selected for World Championships from Japan team. So yeah, it's my plan. So. Well, listen, you have thousands of fans throughout the world. You're one of the most popular climbers in climbing. So best of luck for the rest of the season, man. And thank you. His teammate Serato Anruku was in his first senior World Cup. Now it's tricky to make an impression on such a stacked Japanese team, but he just might, only failing to climb one boulder in a brilliant performance. He'll climb again in the semi-finals. 
Returning to the country where he won Olympic gold was Alberto Ginez Lopez, but today was not his day. Down the order and time to regroup for the next competition. Mejdi Schalk was in better form with three flashes and four tops in total, although Boulder 4 got away from him and he couldn't get the zone. Right, let's have a look at who made it through. Doyon Lee was on fire. He'll climb last on Sunday, having qualified in first, and will be joined by his teammate Zhong Wanchon. Five Japanese athletes made up that top ten and will enjoy putting on a show in front of their home crowd. Keep an eye out for Nikolai Uznik as well, the European champion clearly having a good off-season. Down at the bottom of the order was Jim Pope, the only British athlete to make it through after Max Milne, Toby Roberts, Hamish MacArthur and Diane Akhtar failed to make the cut.